Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to the Bard class Let's Play. In today's episode, I'm hoping to round off pre-hard mode and get us all geared up for the Wall of Flesh that we'll do tomorrow. So that means a lot of loose ends. I need to make sure that I've made all the weapons that I need to make. I need to make sure that I've taken down all the bosses I need to take. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually just farming away for these little UFOs. And that's because Forium has a boss called the Star Scouter. And I actually completely forgot it was even in the game, so all I needed was this. Amazing. So let's start off today's episode by actually making some new weapons. I did change the base again. I needed to make sure I had all my NPCs ready for hard mode. So I added a couple of more houses. I've also got this little uh, this little area down here. I just extended it downwards and I put some musical wallpaper since that was requested by a frequent viewer called Viz. Right. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, what we're doing is we're making a few different weapons. I have one called the Sitter that I need to make. And to make that, I need to get some fossils real quick. So, I'm using the um, the Vein Miner mod now. So, I don't have to worry about uh, mining as much. Because mining was taking up a lot of my free time when I wanted to make these episodes. So, as you can see, we've got plenty and plenty and plenty of this desert fossil. We don't actually need that much. We only need a couple of uh, sturdy fossils there. But look at that. I'm already up to a platinum. That's amazing. Like, what are the chances of getting a platinum coin out of this? It's, it's quite rare, right? Oh my god. This could just go on and on and on. Maybe I might do this when I need uh, a little bit more cash. Worked out pretty well. Right, deposit all that in there. So I can make the sitter. I think that's what it's called. I'm just guessing, honestly. S-I-T. Hmm. I don't actually know how to make it. <laughs> Maybe I don't have a wood. Let's see. Sitter. Okay, so it's made out of sturdy fossils and wood and anvil. I'm wondering if I haven't put any wood into this. There we go. Right. Sitter. There we go. Right. So it does 29 symphonic damage. It also gives attack speed too. Okay, cool. Let's test it out. Oh wow, that's actually really quick. I'm going to replace that with uh, with the you wood loot. Get rid of that. So let's put that into into there. Right, the next thing I need to make is something out of beeswax. I didn't actually know if I had it yet. Uh, so beeswax. I don't know how many I need for this, but we'll see. This. This is what I want to make. I want to make the conga sheet. Okay, perfect. So I can actually make that now. So let's slap that into there and make the conga sheet. The conga sheet is kind of like our piano book. It gives attack speed one. I don't actually know if you can use both at the same time. I never actually used these in my bard class uh, little test that I did in the forium series. So slap down this, slap down that. Okay, they work. Uh, they work together. That is that is golden. I love that. I love that they work together because if I was to choose one or the other, I'd pick the piano any day because it gives a uh, inspiration recharge rate. Right, now I can make another weapon that I saw yesterday. This was the most recommended one by far. This is the Glacial uh, Piccolo. And I can now turn this into a Song of Ice and Fire. Obviously a reference to, uh, to Game of Thrones. I think that's actually really cool. So let's turn it into that. You have to actually uh, come down to a demon altar to do this. I didn't just uh, forget about it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Song of Ice and Fire. Beautiful. And this now does 37 damage. Okay, amazing. Right, so there is something else that I can make as well. I can now make a sky... I, I can't remember what it's called, honestly. But I actually got some gravitation potions now. So gravity potions. So I'm going to go find some sky islands. And what we're going to do is our first boss fight up there. So I'm going to get some platforms to get it all ready. And I'll also get all the ingredients for that new weapon. Okay, so this weapon is called the Skyware Loot. Actually, I need that grav potion, so I'm going to grab that back. Yeah, I need stars, though. I don't know if I've got stars. Oh, I've got 23. Right, we're good. So, let's put in the words sky, and it's not popping up. I don't know why. Is it made it? Oh, it's made at a sky mill. So, you need to find a sky mill first. Well, considering it does 18 symphonic damage, I think I'll skip on it for now. And, uh, and what I'll do is I'll actually do the fight that we're about to do. So I need to make a star caller. This will actually summon it on in. And we'll do that. Alright, this is where we're going to do it. It might be a little bit dark, so I apologize in advance. But let's begin. Alright, get this going. 
And we'll get using the Song of Ice and Fire. I do believe it's our most, um... Uh, it's got our highest damage of, of all the weapons, so we'll get using it. Right. Okay, I haven't done this fight in many a moon, so I can't actually remember how hard it is, to be honest. So I'm just kind of winging it. Not gonna lie. I've added that little bit. Do you see where this cloud is? I kept that there. I didn't add it. I kept it because I was like, right. I need to be able to, to dodge some of its laser beams if it has one. Because I assumed it would, because obviously laser beams are boss in space. Kind of makes sense. Okay, we're doing fine so far, but as you guys know, bosses are not always that simple. Right, let's get some conga power in there. Let's get another uh, boom box. Sam using the boom box. I didn't get to use it much yesterday during that fight. Even though I was so hyped to get it, didn't use it. <laughs> right, let's go to the uh, let's go to the guitar. Okay, right, we're doing great. We're actually we're actually doing really good. I'm I'm actually really impressed for a first attempt as well. Considering I'm not using any of my potions, I probably could use my potions now that I have a uh, an alchemist moving in. I'm just using them so sparingly because I'm like, oh, I don't want to farm. But uh, I don't have to farm for them anymore. Or fish, rather. Okay, this is going great. This is going really great. Okay, things are getting a little bit rocky now. Um, I'm hoping I can still do it, but uh, I've lost quite a bit of health. All right, I think it is actually time to do that buff up. So that buff up is going to give me uh, extra regenerate, I believe. It's also going to give me like more defense and stuff like that. So I might do a little bit better. Let's hope I haven't like absolutely uh, ruined this fight because I was stubborn. We'll see though. We'll see. Actually, where's it gone? <laughs> I can't even see it. Do I? Have to... It's just over here chilling. Do I have to kill the little minions first? I think so. <laughs> I'm just letting this uh, let... using this time to regen some health actually. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, now I can fight the real thing. Good. <laughs> but I'm super slow. Okay, this is really, really neck and neck, but I've done it. <laughs> I had so little health then. Oh my god, we did it. I'm very proud of us. It was nighttime as well. It was very difficult to see, but we did it. All right, so, Star Scout, a treasure bag. Let's open it up. Uh, we got a throwing weapon and a melee weapon. We also got the Omega Drive. Summons an offensive pet probe with limited range. May as well give it a go. Why not? I don't know why, but Terraria auto defaults this to be default. I don't understand why. It should always be. It should always be active. Anyway, all right. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all of this. So we did really, really well. Uh, I'm very proud of us. So my plan now is to go down to the marble biome, go collect whatever stuff I need from the marble biome. I actually don't know if you can make a weapon out of the stuff in the marble biome, but I will find out, and we will make it if you can. And then we're going to do the Buried Champion, and then after that, it's kind of like the grind, because we've got to grind through um, through this count, because obviously I'm struggling, but uh, I think with these upgrades that were made today, I think we could probably do it, because I was doing pretty well yesterday, it's just my damage was so low, but I think we might have it today. Oh, oh my god, I forget that this fight is actually done by activating like a little hidden thing that spawns in. I was like, what is that stone sculpture? Right, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I remembered though, you can get a weapon from it. It's called the Tuning Fork, I believe. Okay, bail on that, bail on that. Yeah, I had no idea, but now we know. I thought it was gonna be just like the granite thing. Do you know where you, um, well, you guys know. You, you know, I thought I'd make some at. Right, let's actually just double check my little theory there. Oh, are you coming back or are you leaving? Okay, he's left, good. All right, let's test my little theory actually. Is it the Tuning Fork? Yeah, it's the tuning fork, and you need eight of them. You can also make a Spartan subwoofer, so I'm not going to be making that because that's more for multiplayer. Ancient blade, consumable, summons a hero. Of oh, so you, oh, okay, so you can actually make it, you can also make a weapon. So once again, I need 12 pieces. I was down in the jungle because my marble biome is so like warped because obviously I've, you know, taken chunks out of it to, uh, to make it an arena. Um, it doesn't actually get many enemy spawns, but uh, now that I know that, I'll be getting my stuff down in the jungle and then fighting it in my arena. So, it's time to make the tuning fork and the blade, so let's deposit all of that. Right, tuning fork, okay. So, it does 31 symphonic damage and gives attack speed 1, okay. Haven't used this to my knowledge. I, I remember it Oh, I just tapped out. I remember it being in the game, but I haven't used it. 
Oh, oh, it's a throwing weapon. Oh, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm not gonna lie. I play uh, Bard because it's more like a, a bit like a mage. I'm all right for that. Okay, let's make the ancient blade. Very nice. All right, we're gonna go down there and uh, and hopefully do it in a wanna. All right, let's begin. So here we go. Okay, like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Right, okay. If I remember correctly, I do feel like this one was the easiest one out of the two. But I'm not 100% certain. I mean, mods get changed all the time. Like, since I last played, they might have uh, they might have done like a lot to any of the bosses. But if I do remember correctly, this one is uh, pretty weak. And I think that's kind of showing. I think it's because... I don't know. I, I have this weird feeling like this one has a second phase that I, I forget about. It might not do though, I don't want to overhype it, but uh, it might do. Like, I feel like it goes from like being a bow master to like a sword master to like something else. I'm so sure of it. Or maybe I've already reached that. Like, uh, you know, here's a, he's a magician right now. Maybe that's like already part of it. I might have skipped a phase. <laughs> I've definitely uh, skipped a phase of my knowledge of this boss. Let's just say that. Right. Okay, right, I'm getting low on health. Let's see if we can finish this off. I can't even see where it's coming from. There's two of them now. What's going on? I don't have a clue. Okay, there we go. Right, bam. The buried champion has been defeated. These really don't compare to uh, to Viscount, do they? They really don't. I mean, where are they on the ladder? Have I, have I... Yeah, look, I've gone past Viscount by one, two, three, four bosses. And Viscount is the, the hardest one. I think Viscount's great, though. I think it's a really fun boss, but I do think they should move it to, like, here. Hmm. But that's pretty good. Right. So, let's open this up. We got a Champion's Rebuttal. Defense increased by two. The damage you take is stored into your next damaging attack. You can reach a maximum limit of 300 bonus damage. Ooh, very nice. Uh, we also got some Champion's Wings, which allow you to, uh, to fly, which are pretty cool. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to use them, so we'll deposit all that. But that's really good. So we have one pre-hard mode boss remaining, and then we'll jump straight into hard mode tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait. I really can't wait, because there's so much uh, you can do at the beginning of hard mode as a bard class. There's so many weapons, so many like, oh, it's it's going to be so good. So I'm ready to let this, uh, let this begin. I'm going to give it my best go. Since the last time we tried this, we've now got the granite boombox. We also have the conga. Uh, we have the Song of Ice and Fire. I've got a few more buffs because I now have an Alchemist NPC. So I feel like we're in a really good spot right now. So let's buff up. Let's get one of these going. Let's begin. Let's see if I've improved at all. I'll try and talk over it as well because I think I think that's always more fun. All right, Viscount. Let's see how you do. Yeah, I really feel like last time I was so limited by my damage. I just feel like I wasn't getting the damage I actually uh, I needed. I'm going to swap weapons up today as well, and ah, oh, I'm just going to do it way better. I'm going to do it way better. Yeah, I definitely think with some uh, with some upgrades, you can really outclass this boss. But then again, I'm using the, the Song of Ice and Fire. This was always available to me. So I should really just stop my moaning, shouldn't I? I like the boulder attack. I think the boulder attack's pretty cool. Very, uh, very visually interesting, let's just say that. Right, I'm taking a lot of damage now because I'm not paying full attention. I've got so many of my own projectiles on screen, I'm kind of like being, uh, being swarmed. Right, let's get a boombox going. Let's get that inspiration back up. Okay, let's stop taking dumb damage, James, because you you have this fight and you're losing it because you're being dumb. Okay, protein, nice. Oh, it's getting crazy now. It's getting crazy. This is throwing out all the attacks it's got. Look at it. It's getting weak. <laughs> and so are we. So are we. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Hey, we did it! Oh my god, and what a clutch. Did I just turn invisible? What's going on? I've turned into a bat! I turned into a bat. Why did I turn into a bat? Is that a thing? What's this? I've had this in my inventory. Whoa! Okay, I found this earlier. I did want to show it. I've never actually seen it. Turned you into a worm? Why a worm? Okay, cool. Away I go! Whoa, can I not get through the door? Oh, I can. Okay. Peace out, dudes. This is this is too good. Too good. Oh, I can't use my items. Alright, I've turned back into a person now. Alright, that was that was that was really banging. I like that. 
I like that it was a clutch as well. I mean, a clutch kill is always kind of interesting to watch, right? So I do need a place for this because I am pretty proud of it. I've got a lot of um, a lot of rooms available. I'm gonna. I don't know if I want to slap it here because all of this is symmetrical and this is not going to go into that. Maybe I can slap it here. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, let's open this up. Bam. Okay, so we got a bard weapon. We got the sonar cannon. Awesome. We also got the vampire's catalyst. Transforms you into a bat capable of flight. When transformed, you are smaller and you are immune to most bat enemies. Cannot use conventional items. While transformed. Oh, amazing. Amazing. I really like it. I think that's I think that's actually really sick. Thorium adding transformations is something that I heard Fury say was amazing. He tweeted me a long time ago, so I'm glad I'm finally experiencing it. So let's check out the sonar cannon. I've never seen this before. Let's begin. Oh, it's got a beautiful sound. It also gives attack speed two and movement speed. It has no right click. And it does 30 symphonic damage. Just to compare, this does 32, 44, 22, and 40. That was really, really good. I had a great time today. So this might end up being a shorter episode. I don't know. Maybe the boss fights will extend it. Uh, but I just want to say thank you all for watching. I really appreciate that you guys hit that 1,000 like goal again. Let's try and keep it up for every episode. And I'll see you tomorrow for the very start of hard mode, Bard Class. Thank you all for watching, guys. Peace.